Today I'm going to show you how to perform the tubular bind off. This is a bind off that is great for one by one ribbing and it is the complement to a tubular cast on. This particular bind off will allow your stitches to basically curl over the edge and give you a really neat finished and very polished edge as well as it will allow the edge to be nice and stretchy, which works really well for the cuffs of sweaters, collars of sweaters, and the um, bottom uh, ribbing of sweaters. So this is a type of sewn bind off. So you will want to make sure that you give yourself four times the length of yarn and then you will cut your yarn from and separate it from the ball of your working ball. So the first thing that you're going to do to get set up is put in a removable stitch marker through the first two stitches on your needle. And I am working with a darning needle that is curved. So this curved darning needle I like to use because it, it allows me to get into the stitches a little bit easier. I am also working with two strands of yarn, merino as well as a mohair. So you will see a realistic look at how much time this takes. It's going to take a little bit of straightening out and a little bit of work with this combination, but um, I hope that this will give you a realistic view of what that's going to be like. So to get yourself set up, this first stitch on my needle is a knit stitch. So I am going to go into that knit wise and take it off the needle and then skip a stitch and then go purl wise into that second stitch. And then this yarn gets pulled all the way through and snug that up. The second stitch or second sequence is then a purl stitch so this you're going to go in purl-wise, take that off the needle, and then skip this stitch, skip the second stitch, and then go in between these two stitches and knit-wise into that stitch. and pull that through. And then we are going to repeat that sequence. So we have a knit stitch. So we're going to go in knit wise and off, skip a stitch, purl wise, stays on, pull that yarn through and snug it up. Then we have a purl stitch, so we'll go in purl wise and off, skip a stitch, go in behind and between, and knit wise, that stays on. Pull it through. And then we are going to continue with that sequence. So I do a little chant to help me remember. And so it goes knit off, skip a stitch, purl on. Purl off, skip. 
skip and knit on. Knit. Off. Skip. Purl. On. Purl. Off. Skip. Knit. Once you know that you have that skip down, you can just say the sequence, if this is helpful, knit off, purl on, purl off, knit on. And that is very much the same as what it would be if you were doing the Kitchener stitch. And then when you work all the way back around to the beginning, you've worked all the way around, you can take these two stitches, put them on to your left hand needle and you will work those within that sequence. And doing so, once these two stitches are worked, then you can take the bulb pin off and you have completed the sequence and everything is connected seamlessly within the round. And then you'll just weave in your tail. I hope that helps.